Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got a system of equations as you can see over here. And here we got x plus y equal to 3, x cube plus y cubed equals to 9. And now we are going to find the value of x power 4 plus y power 4. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our action plan. And now let's recall the sum of two cubes formula, which is equal to a plus b times a square minus ab plus b square. And I can write this formula in terms of x and y variables, as you can see over here. And now we can see that our x cube plus y cube in our case is 9. Our x plus y value is 3. So therefore, our strategy is going to find the value of x square plus y square and x times y before we find the value of this x power 4 plus y power 4. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and find the value of x square plus y square first. And now let's recall this famous formula a plus b square equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And here I have copied down this formula in terms of x and y variables. And since we want to find the value of x square plus y square, so let's move this 2xy on the other side. So that means we're going to have a x square plus y square equal to x plus y whole square minus 2 times x y. And now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and find the value of x times y now. And now let's recall this uh, the cube formula a cube plus b cube. And here I have wrote down this formula in terms of x and y variables. And now let's focus on this part, x square plus y square. And let's focus on this equation one, x square plus y square is this quantity. So I am going to replace this one by this. So therefore, I can write this x cube plus y cube equals to x plus y. And then uh, I am going to replace this part by this right hand side, which is x plus y whole square minus 2xy. And then I'm going to just write down minus x y right up here and here in this next step i have combined these two like terms negative 2 x y and minus x y is going to give us negative 3 x y now we can see that x cube plus y cube in our case is 9 x plus y is 3 likewise we got x plus y is once again 3 and this way we could find the value of x y so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks i'm going to replace this x cube plus y cube by 9 equal to x plus y in our case is 3 and then in this bracket we got 3 square minus 3 times x y and now this could be written as 9 equal to 3 outside. 3 squared is 9 minus 3 times xy. And here in this next step, I have distributed on the right hand side. And then I subtracted 27 from both sides. So we ended up with negative 18 equals to negative 9 xy. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 9 to isolate x times y. So if we divide both sides by negative 9, we are going to get x times y equals to 2 value. So thus our x times y value turns out to be 2. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and find the value of x power 4 
plus y power 4 and here's the step we want to do first. I'm going to write down this x power 4 plus y power 4. Let's go ahead and manipulate this one. I can write x power 4 as x square and then power 2 and likewise I can write y square and then power 2. Now let's go ahead and compare this right hand side with this equation 1 and we can see that wherever we see x and y I am going to replace them by x square and y square so our this right hand side is going to become so this is going to become simply x square plus y square and then square minus 2 time x square times y square. And in this next step I wrote down this x square times y square as x y and then power 2. And now let's focus on this part inside parentheses x square plus y square and here we got x square plus y square equal to this whole thing. So I am going to replace this one by this uh, right hand side. So the right hand side could be written as x plus y whole square minus 2 times x y and then whole square with this bracket and then minus 2 times x y whole square. And now we can see that this x plus y is same as 3. x times y we figured out equals to 2. And here x, y is once again 2. And here I have replaced those values. So the right hand side, let's go ahead and simplify that one. Inside this bracket 3 square is same as 9. Minus 2 times 2 is 4. And then square. And then here 2 square is 4, 4 times 2 is minus 8. And here in this next step I simplified 9 minus 4 is going to give us 5 and then square and 5 square is 25, take away 8. So that means our x power 4 plus y power 4 value turns out to be 25 minus 8 is 17. So thus our x power 4 plus y power 4 value turns out to be 17 and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.